Dr. Foz, and this is how to make my Fountain of Youth shake. It's called Fountain of Youth shake because it's going to keep you looking young forever. So I start off with adding some kale, and make sure that everything's organic when you add it. A couple of handfuls of each will suffice. This will make about 72 ounces of shake. I usually drink between 9 and 16 ounces each time I have a serving. So this will last me probably one day. I might be able to stretch it out for two, but it won't taste as fresh as day one. So getting back, first I add kale, then I'll add a handful of spinach. Spinach is especially important for all you females out there that are still menstruating because it'll help replenish your iron from a non-meat source. Go ahead and feel free to freeze your spinach because it's okay if it's a little bit mushy because we're blending it up anyway. Next I'll add some carrots. And then I'll add some broccoli. Next, to get rid of some of the earthy tone and offset the alkaline taste of the vegetables, I'll start adding a little bit of fruit, things like blueberries for the antioxidants and pyocyanins. Some orange, the citric acid in the orange will help throw off the alkaline taste of the vegetables. Some banana for sweetness. I also add real cranberry juice. You know it's real when it's in the glass jar. If it's in the plastic jar, it's just sugar water. Cranberry juice is known to put a nice glycocalyx along your bladder. Glycocalyx, what's that? Well, that's a great way to for your bladder to use as a defense for bacteria. Translation, it helps prevent everybody from getting UTIs, but especially females. Add about a cup of cranberry juice. Next, I add some acai berry, mostly for the antioxidant levels. Shake it well, add about a cup. Next, I'm gonna make sure that I add some ice. It's best chilled. And then finally, water. I choose to use spring water because I don't like fluoride. 